Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick video about um, my girls' preschool learning notebooks for this year, what I've put together. Um, they're both pretty much exactly the same. My girls are three and a half and will be five next month. So um, this is what I've got put together. Um, <clears throat> in the front, this is just, she can just slip it down in here. For the first day, I'm going to have them do these All About Me sheets, um, just some facts about them. They can color them, and if they want to slip them back in here for the year just to look at, then they can. If not, that's fine too, but just something fun for the first day. Um, when you open it up, I just get, printed them off each a Bible verse. Um, just a good reminder for them as they're working hard throughout this school year. Um, these dividers I actually got a Dollar Tree and they're like my favorite dividers because they're super thick and sturdy I don't know they're and they have a pocket which is nice they're just better than a lot of the other ones I've seen or used um a lot of the stuff I got in here was from Confessions of a Homeschooler blog and not every I didn't she has like a daily learning preschool pack and I did not print off everything just because some of it wasn't really applicable to my girls but um a lot of it I did get from there and it's very very handy resource so um, this first tab is just kind of what they're going to be doing every day. So like their daily work, every day they'll hop in here, spend a few minutes doing this stuff. Um, this first one is what day is it? I'm going to have them circle the day of the week and then trace it. And then color in today's, today's number. And then I'll have them write the day's number. I'm not sure if we're going to do the before and after number. For sure with my help, but I don't, I don't know if I'm going to have them do it or just skip over that. And then I have some little, like, strips that I just need to cut off and you just slip it down in here um, with the day's number word, so like 22 or whatever the day is. Um, and I did put them all in for page protectors just so I don't have to print out, like, thousands of them throughout the school year. So, yeah, we have Monday. I think we're going to just school Monday through Thursday. That's what I'm thinking for right now anyway. So I just have Monday through Thursday in here. And then the next one, oh, yeah, and then they'll just use... They have these little cute little drawers and they each have a set of dry erase markers. So they'll just use their dry erase markers to mark on these and then um, erase it when on the next day or whenever at the end of the week. Um, and then the next one is time and weather. Um, they'll just trace, obviously you can see, they'll just trace it onto here, copy the numbers, and then for weather, we'll probably just do Fahrenheit. We'll look it up on my phone and then do it, write the number, and then it'll be handy to have them um, doing what type of clothes they'll wear because we live in the Midwest and it's, you know, in the fall and spring, it's like it can be shorts and tank top one day and then the next day it's, you know, snowing. <laughs> so anyway, it, it can be confusing to know what to wear with the weather. Um, anyway, so that'll be nice. And I think for time I may end up doing, cause we'll probably school around the same time every day. So I don't really, you know, it won't be very effective if it's like, okay, it's 9, 18 every single day. Um, so I have a little wooden clock that I may end up just like setting the time to a different every day and having them figure out what the time is, copy it, and write it. Um, and then this is just a 100 days of school chart. They'll just fill in a square every day till we get to 100, and then we'll do some kind of celebration fun thing. And then this is just a calendar page. Um, so each month they'll switch it out. So they'll just copy the month, August 2016, and then each day they'll copy the day. So 24, 25, whatever and then fill in the weather. What's the weather like today? They'll just graph it for whatever the weather is, and then we'll fill out the most common weather for the month. Um, the next one is just an I'm thankful for page. I just want them to be, you know, focusing on that kind of stuff too. What What's good in your life? What are you thankful for? Um, this one's pretty basic since they're so young, but they can just kind of color whichever thing they want to pick for the day. And then there's, you know, some blank ones at the bottom that they can either draw a picture of whatever they're thinking, or they can have me help them write it. Um, I may have them just, you know, I may do like a certain amount, like color two, and then um, make up your own every day. That way they're like actually having to think about, oh, not just, oh, I'm thankful for rainbows and books every day, but like I'm actually thinking about this specific person I'm thankful for, whatever it might be. Um, I did print out these little emotions cards. Um, I just want to be, you know, they're pretty good at identifying their emotions, but it'll help us all kind of to keep in check with how everybody's feeling and doing throughout the day. Um... And I just printed this one off today. I think I like it. I'll probably stick with this one. It's This one is two-sided. So, um, anyway, but it's a little bit more descriptive. The other one I had was, it was just kind of, I don't know. They were, like, worried and scared. That's the exact same expression. I mean, it's exactly the same. So, I don't know. And then same thing with, like, angry and cranky are 
you know, basically the same, but I mean, I guess that's kind of, I don't know. Anyway, so it just wasn't that descriptive. I didn't feel like it would be super helpful for them to like be able to identify, yeah, that's the way that I'm feeling. So this one is a little bit more, obviously angry is like <laughs> way more descriptive. Embarrassed, grumpy, yeah. Anyway, so <clears throat> the next tab is going to be stuff that we're doing just on that day or that week. I will put it either in at the beginning of the week or each day. And then this will rotate out. So they'll start by doing their daily work and then move into whatever they have for the day. And this is not going to be like even a small chunk of what we're doing. This is just like, you know, 10, 15 minutes throughout the day, you guys. It's not like this is all of our work. We're sitting down and just doing worksheets all day. No, it's just a few things. Like if I have an extra math worksheet or whatever, then they can just do that at the same time. So this first little thing is this cute little preschool assessment that I'm going to do with them in the first week just to help me. I'm, I pretty much know where they're at with all of this stuff, but just to give me a little bit of a better idea if there are any letters that they're struggling with. The, um, I'm not going to go through the whole thing just since it's not something we'll be doing on a regular basis, but I'll link in my blog post what where I got this because it's really handy and really cute actually. But So it's, it's yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Um... Let's see, then then you can add goals, which is nice, and I think I'll probably keep this in their binders throughout the year, and that way they can, um, I can just be reminded of what we're working toward and getting them ready for kindergarten. The next tab is kind of our writing tab. I wanted, I was looking on Pinterest and the internet for um, just something to have for them to be able to like learn how to, how to properly write their numbers. We'll be working on writing a lot this year, and then also... Um, just to see, like, if they need help remembering how to write a G, then they can just kind of go to this. I don't have a letters poster up on the wall or anything like that, and I actually had a really hard time finding something, um, because everything was, like, the type print, so, like, the type A or the type G that, and I want them to learn, like, the handwriting G, if that makes sense. So, anyway, I ended up finding this on the same website that I got that assessment thing from in the last tab, and... It's perfect. So that way, you know, if they're writing a card for dad and they want to write to dad, I can tell them the letters D A D and they can come just open this up, look at how to write it D A D. No, D A D. Anyway, so um this one is every month at the beginning of the month I'll have them write their name and then they'll just, you know, see how their handwriting is progressing throughout the year from August to May. And then this tab is just extra. So these are all the extra calendars that I'll switch out throughout the year. These are the things I was showing you in the beginning tab for the daily, like, um, just I'll slip it down in here in the page protector and then they'll copy um, the letters of today's number word and then just extra calendar. And then back here at the back, this thing is kind of cool. I got this at Dollar Tree. It just clips right in, so it's really nice and handy. And then I will tab... Um, whatever they need to do for the day. So, like, if it's Tuesday, I'll put a tab on Tuesday so they know to flip it open to Tuesday. Um, yeah, and then they each got to pick out a little composition notebook that we're going to use for journals so they can journal while I'm doing read aloud. I'm sure they'll write either just, you know, random letters or pictures or whatever, but it'll be a good just practice for them to, like, sit quietly and listen and, you know, start learning to journal and do some quiet time and stuff. So, anyway, that is pretty much our preschool learning binders for the year and uh, like I said both of them for my girls are pretty much exactly the same.